Hello, my treasures. It's time to make our opponents feel like they don't even have a chance of winning the game with even Highlander Hunter. Basically, the idea behind this is because Reno is now a 10 cost card, we can use him in an even deck where we're going to be using Gen to discount our hero power down to one, and then using things like Thalderian the Loss in order to have a fully functional highlander hunter list this deck will also have ways to easily abuse the one cost mana hero power such as dragon bane and sing along buddy now for the morning guide of the deck first thing to look out for is honestly any early game removal tools such as explosive trap in case your opponent is going to have a lot of minions on board things like golden panner for draw power or any card that will help you swarm the board early on such as hidden meaning or patchwork pals also worth mentioning that etc we will be using fizzle plush and yog as a way to have additional removal tools and ways to get additional copies of key cards now with all being said let's look at some okay temporary game against druid druid is one of those decks or classes that are there are quite a few different op options that our opponent could be playing also it was worth mentioning the reason why we're playing elk is because there aren't really that many high cost beasts that we can use with thunderbringer and it is just like a decent aoe removal tool also speaking of thunderbringer here it is there's actually quite a few cards that i thought about shoving on the thumbnail of this video but i ended up i think what will end up being is reno the four drop dwarf and Maybe single long buddy. I can't remember what the other card is, but it is worth mentioning. Oh, Gen is probably going to be what's the, the other card on the thumbnail. I, I do like to do a little bit of variety. And weirdly enough, I haven't actually ever put Reno on a thumbnail, even though he's been in quite a few different decks. He, he's just never actually been on a thumbnail since the, I think, day one decks. That's the only time I ever really used him. I guess we could have used the dwarf on the thumbnail instead, but I, I don't know. I, I prefer it's a little bit more clickbait if I can use him this time around just because he did get nerfed. Hidden meaning should allow us to get some type of hidden minion here. Pretty easily. Anything good? Uh, that could be a lot worse. There are quite a few worse things three drops that could have been slamming down our weapon using our hero power getting three damage into our opponent's face i i will say though this is a minion that can easily be cleared with swipe just with the board state that we currently actually have i hope we don't have to deal with that but uh, you know may, maybe maybe we'll have to right there's shape shift that did get rid of one of the minions but i don't think that's enough right all right, so as much, <laughs> let's put down Posic. This should make them burn a card. Hopefully it burn. Oh, well, that isn't the card that I would have preferred them to burn, but I I, I had hoped they ha would have burned something a little bit more important, but, you know, it is it is what it is, right? <laughs> oh, I'm still kind of curious of what they're actually playing. There's Highlander that's existing. There is the Dorian list that exists. There's like a hybrid list that exists, a dragon list. There's a lot of different like druid lists floating around right now. They all kind of do the same thing because they all use similar packages to each other. Some just use the Highlander package. And boy, there, there was a game that was so close to me winning, but they... <laughs> Literally, the only card that would have caused me to lose the game would have been a Deathwing, and they randomly generated it. Hmm. I can forge this down. I'm going to grab Bait and Switch because they were probably going to have to use that or attack into our minions to actually clear them out. And then we get an additional minion in case they swarm the board a little bit more. Okay, they, they'll use the one audio bot. Funnel cake. Uh, I mean, that refreshes three. So maybe they have a swipe in hand. Swipe would get rid of Pazic plus the two one ones. That would minimize the damage that they're going to be taking. Race of Nature isn't... Oh, Swipe is still a 3-mana card. 
So, uh, well, <laughs> okay, good. Did they randomly generate the bee's knees? <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but oh, it's not even like we have bees in rotation. Okay, Oaken summons. Oh, so they have durian in hand, probably, right? If they're hard running that card. Dorian tends to be the only like low drop minion that they have. I'm trying to think, do we is there a way we can get lethal? Mm, no. We will be too off no matter what. X X doesn't do it, but it could put them back into the game. I, I'm just assuming they, they have to have Dorian. If they're running Oaken Summons. One of those three cards has to be Dorian, right? Well, we can make them burn a card, get rid of the minion on board, then just go face with everything on board. As long as... Well, we, we have seen a duplicate, so they're probably... Oh, well, that that's not going to matter too much. See? I knew it! I, I, I absolutely knew they had to at least have Dorian in hand. Okay, they're going to get some additional copies. This is where they heal themselves up to full... Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> I thought for a second that they were actually going to refresh their mana crystals. But yeah, no, Dorian being played like that makes a lot of sense. How much damage do we actually have on board? We have two, four, seven, seventeen. Old Hound kind of works here. Technically, we have 19 on board, I think, mathematically. Let, let's... The question is... Do we trade into Dorian or do we let them keep it on board? I think we trade into him. I like I I don't like doing that, but like I, I also don't want to risk them drawing into some minion and then playing a bunch of one cost copies of it. Depends also <laughs> speaking of a, a minion that we don't want them to play down one cost minions of. That definitely is uh, not something we want to deal with. Okay, are they, oh, they have 23. We're still going to be like one or two off, right? At, at least the secret will... We're going to be one off. No, we're two off. Oh, where is our sing-along buddy when we need him? We're not going to sing along, are we? Okay, well, you know, draw two. I'm assuming they're going to... Yup, 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 yup. Because why wouldn't you at this point? What top deck do we want to see here? I mean, fetch doesn't really do anything. Anything good? Oh, I was hoping for anything that wasn't that. Well, not anything. Rush would have been worse, but that is still... Oh, all right, we're running Dorian. I will freely admit to this. Dorian is probably a card that we're going to say goodbye to very, very soon. Uh, it, I'd assume it is a card that we just probably will cut out. This is early enough in testing that it just didn't matter. Flint Firearm, I think, is probably a better card just because it gives us a little bit of additional AoE removal just in case. And Dorian is great, but we just don't have the draw power for him, right? We got 13, 13, or 13, 5 on board. They probably will be able to clear it out. But it doesn't do what they need. That, well, no. Well, no, because we've seen them play duplicates, so we're not worried about that. Uh, Okay, we get the 3-3 three, three with Taunt. They, I, I'd assume they probably hit into it, right? Just to get rid of it off the board. Maybe they won't. How much damage do we actually have? Uh, they don't. <laughs> oh, we're going to make them instantly regret that decision. We're going to patchwork our way to victory. Well, it's GG. <laughs> Okay, time for a game against Warrior. Actually, honestly, out of all the games that I played, I think this matchup is probably one of the better ones for us. 
keeping Barrel of Monkeys because it's a barrel fun to actually use it. Stomper is one of those cards that I don't think has really come up in many games. It's in here just because we can cycle through and then maybe we're actually going to be facing a deck where it could matter. But I definitely feel like that is a card that doesn't matter 90% of the time. Which kind of sucks, but you know... Mm. Okay, just going to Hero Power. Now, they might gain a lot of armor. Hopefully they don't uh, over the course of us leaving this up. But I honestly don't think we worry too much about the 0-2. Because our Hero Power kind of negates the armor gain there every turn. Oh, that that is kind of a shock. Uh, well, are we playing against Bomb Warrior? <laughs> Out of all the cards we could have randomly generated. That is... Not what we want to see, but I'm sure that does get rid of the zero two, and then we can get rid of the two four just so we don't have more explosives in our deck. Field block, shield block doesn't do anything right now. Oh, I mean, I guess it does reduce a mech in their hand by five. So yeah, we're we're definitely versing like mech warrior or maybe like bomb warrior it depends on how you want to view it it's an interesting deck don't get me wrong it is one of those things that like oh yeah it hmm. okay well how do we actually deal with the, this now that i'm thinking about it let's just flood the board a little bit keep their armor down so they don't get any more mana cheat hopefully they don't get any more Ah, that feels bad. Well, I mean, it didn't clear out everything, which is good, but that still feels pretty bad. Oh, Mukla. I th I think we do slam down Mukla uh, for a few reasons. If they don't have any... <laughs> uh, I mean, Mukla super... Hey, we made the burn the other training dummy, which is actually pretty good. Okay, Boom Wrench doesn't really do much. They probably will attack into the Mukla just because it does have 3 HP, or they're going to coin out something else instead what was the i i guess they just didn't want to burn a card i i guess that's the plan there yeah that i i mean we'll just slam that down and we might as well just hero power to get in the additional damage okay well they're gonna buff this up a bunch but do we really care if they buff it up a bunch if we can just slam down stranglethorn and we'll be fine Like, part of me wants to go for ETC, but Zilliax actually isn't a bad play either. Uh, let's go with the ETC. We're going to grab Fizzle, probably, just because we do have a pretty decent hand to, like, copy. And we don't really care. We probably should have won face with, with the Hollow Hound, but, like, oh well. anything yet but all right let's get our two minions right yeah gets rid of that we can use fizzle well yeah well we probably should have used mukla to hit there but maybe i don't know maybe they're running some of the excavating package and then we didn't want to chance it there i mean that is kind of bad for us not too bad, but like it is kind of bad. Okay, Agrimar. Anything good here? Come on, something cool. Well, Reborn isn't bad. Let's go face. They, they've healed up to full. We've healed up to full. We're back to square one, but with a little bit less resources. Basically, we're good until they draw into Dr. or Inventor Boom. I'm sorry. I know Dr. Boom does exist currently in standard, but I wait, does it? I think Dr. Boom currently exists in standard, but I'm pretty sure no one plays. Like 80% of that, I... Well, actually, I'm curious now. To the internet! So, Dr. Boom is still a 7-cost card. Did they... Oh, no, they replaced him. He was in last year. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, I, I thought they replaced him. 
I don't really care about leaving the minion up. We're trying to get as much damage in as humanly possible. We can hero power barrel of monkeys. Well, yeah, let's let's use barrel. Put down Zilliax. We could attack. Kind of want to attack. But I'm pretty sure this is just the optimal play right here. Probably shouldn't actually have to use Zilliax now that I'm thinking about it. That's my bad. Hey, speaking of Inventor Boom. That does kind of hurt. We know they're also not Highlander, which is kind of funny. Reno top deck would be really, really nice, though. I will say that. Come on, Reno top deck. Come on, Reno. Come on, Reno. Big money, big money. Big money. There's the bomb. Hey, let's go. <laughs> bye bye to your board. Okay, Mage. Mage, we are a slower deck, so Mage might be a bad matchup. Getting Gold Panner actually isn't a bad opener, though. We just made the hand like 10 times worse. Uh, hmm. Well, I mean, we hero power. A speaker actually might come up. I, I'd be amazed because I don't think a single time that card. I, I've played a lot of games with this deck and I don't think it's come up. Maybe it's come up like twice. I had a lot of really good warrior games, but like I only can really use one warrior game, right? Even if they're like different decks, I, I prefer to get a little bit more variety in the games that I show in a video. Okay, we can forge, use hero power, go face. But yeah, like, there. I will say this, one of the warrior games that will probably not be in this video, but it will be a short. It'll be the short for this deck. Uh, that kind of hurts a little bit because, the, I mean, they can keep freezing us out. Now, the question is, I think we just use guide here to see what we could get. Oh, big dreams is funny, but we don't really have any beasts in hand. I... I think there was a card that was... Re oh, it was the Beached Well where Big Dreams actually would matter. And then you use like Grey's Alchemist to swap the stats. I don't know if that's actually going to be a worthy combo. We also haven't seen what Hunter does this set. Okay, well... Anything good? Uh, <laughs> well... Ah... <laughs> uh, Reno isn't going to matter this turn, is he? I think we get rid of... Uh, no, we just go face. We're trying to rush the damage before they can rush the damage on us, I guess. Sure, they'll be able to freeze us out, but may you never know. We might have some type of AoE as a top deck. We also do have the 6-drop elemental in hand, which kind of sucks because of Thunderbringer, but like... Oh, that is not a, a board I want to deal with. Uh, never mind. Uh, we're not going to lose this game any longer. It turns out we can't get lost if we just top deck the perfect answer and perfectly deal with that board. I, I mean, poison is kind of does suck, but like I'm not like too worried about it. We can use gold panner or we could just use our hero power. I think hero power would be just a better bet here. We're at 19. I know Mage does have access to a lot of AoE removal tools. Uh, not AoE removal. Direct damage. Sorry. Same thought process, right? Because Light Show acts as a removal tool and as a direct damaging spell. Which, actually, thinking about it, I haven't done anything with Light Show in quite a while. But to be fair, I haven't really done anything with Mage in quite a while. I don't think I've actually put out a Mage list since the mini set. I don't think there's a single mage mini set deck. I don't know. It's one of those things that where mage just tends to play exactly the same. So I don't, I don't really try to use it that often. Mage and paladin tend to be the two, but paladin does get some uh, variety on the channel whenever I can. All right. So we can put down Gold Panner, we can put down Stomper, and then we can Hero Power Attack. They're down to five. We're at seven. Thunderbringer isn't bad, actually. Thunderbringer actually is a pretty good top deck because, what, we have a 50-50 chance at... Well, no. We we have a one-third chance of getting another big taunt. 
which is great depending on what we top deck on the next turn too. The only downside is we do have the, the one elemental in hand, which is the only like elemental that I can drag out. I know we could have probably ran Ragnaros and that would have been a really funny card, but like, I don't know. You only want to stick so many high cost minions in a list and I'd rather stick something like Elk in the list which could actually come up if we get it off of Thunderbringer or something else. Maybe our opponent uses a dirty rat, drags out the the elk. Uh, it, it's just, yeah. Uh, we're too, well, I mean, that is a good top deck. So we're two damage off of lethal, but this is going to look weird. I'm going to put down Thunderbringer because they're probably going to try to attack or destroy it. And hey, we got Mukla. So the only <laughs> Mukla, I, I'm going to freely admit to this. Mukla is probably what we would have preferred to have actually in the list. Actually, maybe we wouldn't have preferred Mukla. Because if we, we had Mukla and then they use something like reverbs on the Mukla... They instantly clear the Mukla, and we are still like two damage off. Coin into thing good. Stargazing. Oh, malfunction. Oh, I mean, it does clear out the board. Does get us a six twelve, which is actually pretty good. Five mana. Come on, what do they have left? Why did it have to be reverbs? I had a sneaky suspicion they probably were going to have it, and then yeah. No, oh, okay, that might be a little bit of a waste. They probably should have just hero powered. Oh, I guess they they're just trying to put board pressure down. Uh, well, <laughs> Flint, do your thing, please. <laughs> oh, that he did. Bye bye. All right, now we're through the games. Let's discuss my final thoughts of the deck. So I played 30 games with the deck, had a 60% win rate, which actually kind of shocked me. Though I will say, I think a lot of the wins were mainly due to the early capabilities of swarming the board and having one cost hero power and not really because the fact that Reno can't be nerfed even with a one additional mana cost. This card actually felt like it was a lot weaker than it was before because of the one mana difference. However, it did still win us quite a few games, so it is still a perfectly optimal deck for you all to try out, especially if you want to still make use of Reno. I know it has been quite a while since I've used the card on the channel, which is why I wanted to do this. Now, with that all being said, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.